What's up guys, Billy here with Ultra Bright Lights. And today I'm gonna try to give you guys just a, a brief run through on how to program your Phoenix One controller. So let's start with just the, the software layout. You have your buttons, you have your different tabs down here, which we'll go through. Um, but you'll see that the top bar has that teal color. That's how you know that your controller is connected. If that top bar is red, your controller is not connected. Uh, you'll want to maybe unplug it, replug it back in. Make sure all your software is up to date. Uh, but once everything is teal, you know you're ready to go. Now, this is the controller that we have installed in our Colorado. So it's been programmed already. Uh, so I'm just going to kind of walk you through what we've done to it, uh, how we got there, so you guys can do it with your own Phoenix ones. Let's start with these tabs down here. Now first you have the button type. So on your controller you have 16 buttons as well as 3 additional buttons on the LED screen, giving you a total of 19 buttons. You also have three positions on the slide switch so you can have up to three configurations on those now for the buttons you have different button types you can set them to on off momentary multi or you can even customize the length of time you want those buttons to run that probably really would be good for your sirens um, things like that so you're pretty much a custom momentary button for you now, next to that, you have the button color. This, what I found when, when programming this is this helped with the keeping kind of everything organized. So with these six buttons right over here, these are all my sirens. These are all the siren tones. They're green. We know that all the green buttons on this controller control the different siren tones. Um, so if for whatever reason you haven't gotten around to labeling your controller yet, which we haven't, we know green is going to be all your audio. Um, underneath that, we have the yellow, which I have is AW, which is amber white. So for all of the lights that we have on our car, anything that can run amber white, we have those modes set to run amber white on specific outputs. This button is going to set the vehicle into a full amber white output next to that flood we call it that button white it just makes it easier um, to kind of see where you're at if you don't have everything labeled next to that is what I consider the main your main programming port on the Phoenix one it is your outputs you, you have 32 outputs with the Phoenix One. Uh, if you weren't aware, the Phoenix One has the quad converter and the fusion converter built into it. So you have those 32 output wire harnesses into the brain module of the Phoenix One. And this is where you would assign outputs to certain buttons to your slide switches. We're gonna walk through that in a little bit. But again, this is your main programming area. Next that you have your siren. Phoenix One can have up to two 100 watt sirens attached. Very simple, you can choose what siren tone comes out of which siren. Uh, you have all the, you, you, well, you have Yelp. Uh, you even have the ectotone, the cops song. So a lot of customization with the sirens as well. Next to that, you have your quad and your fusion. Now, this is where you're going to program your bigger Phoenix quad products and the Fusion S products, light bars, large light sticks, your rocker panels, interior visor bars. We're gonna go into that. I'll show you how to program a, a quad product using the Phoenix One in a little bit. In regards to activating your ports, your outputs, so we don't have all the buttons currently utilized. We just, we went through and I have most of them set up because we want everything set up for the Long Island Fire Expo. So you have a couple of buttons not used. So for this demonstration, I'll use button 17. 
and so you click on your button that you want to program and then go through look at your outputs and see what you want to activate what I recommend and what our installers did is they wrote down what modes went to what output and what colors those were so you know exactly what you're getting with each um, what you're getting with each output so let's say I just wanted to do anything with the front lights now you don't see the paper on your screen I have it in front of me but we're just gonna go with these outputs right here and now let's say I want to also include the Phoenix quad light bar which we have in the Colorado I'm gonna head over to the quad tab click on the quad 49 inch and you'll get to this programming screen now this is actually really cool because the customization you now have over your Phoenix Quad products is it, it's just incredible. From the modes that you want to run to the flash pattern to the brightness to which modules on your light bar you want activated it is all done right here. No more clicking in on your quad converter to set colors and whatnot. Everything is done right here. So we'll go basic. We'll go with a front flashing mode. I'll do, I'll just pick one of these patterns and we'll go with 50% intensity. Now you can see that the it says front here and those are all light gray and everything underneath that is dark gray because it knows that you're only going to run you're only configuring the front modules just come down here click all and then I can click red and you'll see everything will come up red or blue it'll switch to red blue I can deactivate colors I can make it all quad I can make each individual one its own color I can do amber red amber red just by clicking the color clicking the module that you want to activate or deactivate full customization now just to kind of show you more about this customization let's say I switch it to the rear and I want to go brake mode I'll hit brake and it'll only give you the option for red Phoenix will knows you're running this specific mode this specific mode can only run red because of DOT regulations you're not gonna be able to adjust the color but you can adjust which modules you want activated so I can deactivate all these modules and make it so that when I hit button 17 and I run brake mode I only have the four center rear modules activated let's go into the siren tab really quick and as you can see you have your 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 speakers what you have running for what so you have all these buttons all these outputs available to you uh, you can do so much it gives you the the hammer option which we have set up as well it, it's just a, a very deep customizable um, program for you guys to use now when you're all set with with your program or you just need to take a break and you're gonna save your program you hit save program and what's very important is that whatever you name your program you add dot J S O N to the end so for a Colorado program we have Colorado 2.0 dot J S O N it's important you put that in it's the only way your computer will register and remember the file so you can go back to it at a later date to make any edits or continue working on it When you're all set and you're ready to put all of your work onto the Phoenix One controller itself, make sure your controller is hooked up, make sure that bar at the top is teal. You'll hit program device, give it a couple seconds, you'll hear a beep come out of your controller and you know that you're all set. You can take the controller away from your computer if you're running on a laptop in your car, you can just plug it right in 
to the wiring harness and test it out make sure you have everything working the way you want it to make any quick changes you need to right then and there what we recommend like i mentioned before our installers wrote down what lights what modes went to what output that made it so much easier to figure out what was going where and program what to what when we wanted to program our rear we have a front mode side mode a mode for all of our quad products it was able to just go through and say all right we need outputs 17 18 19 to go here and this is gonna be all of our quads just super intuitive um just really great gives you full customization to build your setup the way you want to if you have any questions or comments uh, leave them down below if there's anything specific in the program you want us to cover let us know uh, we'll look into it try to make a video for you guys just really honing in on one specific aspect of the Phoenix one program and as always we appreciate it if you like this video and subscribe to our channel for more great content. Thanks for watching guys and we'll see you next time.